Hey, y'all. Rachel here with Rachel's Unique Crafts. Thank y'all for joining me tonight. It's Friday night. Finally, the weekend. So, I'm a little further away from the camera tonight. So, um, maybe I can read y'all's uh, comments. So, we're going to make a farmhouse um, wagon wheel. So, I have two pool noodles. Y'all tell me if you can't hear me. I'm going to try to talk louder. And then I bought um, a pack of two finger shooters up from the Dollar Tree. I got some duct tape and when the Dollar Tree put out these long um, dowels, it was a pack. So I bought a, I bought one pack. Can you believe that? I should have bought several, but I didn't. But anyway, then we got this 10-inch um, wood disc and then a little, I don't know how big this one is. This one's about three and a half inches. So... Let's get started. What I did with this come with a pack of two. Y'all know I've already made this. So, and I just, I felt in here and right where it's soft, I cut that part off because this part is, it's got something in it. Hey, sweet Delane, how are you? Thank you for joining me, my sweet friend Elaine. Okay, so now we've got these two little pieces. And, you know, I had made the can, the little um, firecracker poppers, so I had cut off a little bit of this one. So, but I'm still gonna use it. What we're gonna do, we're gonna put this. in one end and then we're gonna put let's go ahead and put this one in one end so that I can turn it okay now we're gonna attach them together somehow some way and y'all I'm probably gonna knock everything down in this area, but that's okay. And y'all, pool noodles have different sizes. Hey, my friend, um, Diane, how are you? I appreciate y'all joining me. But different pool noodles have different size, sizes holes in the middle. This one just happens to be a lot smaller than the other one that I bought. I have bought some red ones and some blue ones and the blue ones was actually bigger on the inside. So Gonna twist it and try to get it up in there. Let me see if I got something to try to poke it. Because these turn out really cute. I'm, I'm sorry y'all if that's loud. Okay, we're gonna um do this duct tape.
and I try to get my duct tape where it's not got no wrinkles. And because this one is being contrary and the hole is smaller, I'm going to put an extra round of, of duct tape on it. And I would only do this on live. I would lose where my spot was. Y'all, I'm not... I can't tell y'all how ha happy that I am that it is finally Friday evening. It has been a long week. Very long. And you don't have to use white duct tape. That's just some I had. Okay, now let's move on to this other side over here. I'm gonna tell you what. to make that a little easier y'all the other night after i got off my live i was so proud of myself i had painted and i did not get um any um paint on my clothes i was so excited and i was sitting here finishing up cleaning up my mess and i picked up one of the lids and it still had brown paint on it yeah I dropped it right in my lap. Got paint all over my shirt. And I was sitting here last night and I took the knife and cut my finger. I'm, I'm telling y'all, it's been a long week. Okay, we're gonna hold this together. And see, I need one of y'all here with me. You know, that would be good if y'all could just come on over and and help me hold this. <laughs> uh, there's my sweet mama. Y'all, I have the best mama. I'm sure everybody thinks that. She is sweet. And I am struggling here with this thing tonight. We're going to get that hole bigger. Okay, if one of y'all could just come on over and hold this. <laughs> that would be great. I'm telling y'all, this turns out so cute. Okay. The hard part is over. I'm going to put an extra because it didn't go in there real good. So do y'all like to decorate with farmhouse? I love the farmhouse. I love everything old. LOL. My arms just aren't. Uh, Miss Delaney, I'll have to read your comment when I get a home struggling to see. My arms just won't reach. <laughs> Oh, girl, I wish they would. Come on over. Come on over. Help me hold this rebellious thing. Okay. Now we have our big circle. 
Now, this one's going to be smaller than my other one because I had already cut off part of it to make the firecracker thingies. So, I'm going to cut off part of these dowels. Things are flying everywhere. Okay. All right. So the pool noodle, it's it's got a hollow um, spot in the middle. So you're just gonna kind of feel when this goes through, and try not to push it out on the other side. thinking that's about in the middle. Okay. Now, are y'all starting to see it? Now I'm going to go halfway in between here. Halfway. And one more. That worked out pretty good, didn't it? Okay, are y'all starting to see it now? <laughs> I'm going to put just a little dab of glue on each, um, each little dowel. Not a whole lot because it will melt the foam. A little dab of do you. Okay, so now I'm gonna put some glue on each little dowel just to kind of hold them in place. Y'all, this is so simple, and I mean, they're foam and wood. I wouldn't put them directly in the rain, but you could put them. I'm going to put one out on my front porch, and the other one is probably going in my back porch. So, All right, now I've got the centerpiece. This is what it looks like. Wagon wheel, yes, Diane. You got it. So I've got some little pieces of foam, little strips. I'm just gonna cut two little square pieces. I'm putting it in the middle. Because I want the center piece just to give it a little depth. Not don't have to, but it was just an extra little detail that I wanted on there. So look how cute. Now when I turned it over, I went and added a lot of hot glue on each side, and of course I just glued that so it hadn't had time to stick. 
and make sure I get it right back in the center. So, um, you'll want to lay it this away and put you a good bit of glue on there to hold all that together. So, let me show y'all what it's going to look like. Let me put something under there so that I hold that up. Okay. Now, that's going to hold that centerpiece. Now, I painted mine brown. And look how cute. See how this one's a good bit bigger. Of course, I had not used any off of, I hadn't cut any off of these two. Um, so, this is how big this one is. Isn't that cute? Just trying to show y'all. Glad you are making one. I bought a few of them. I'm looking for inspiration. <laughs> hey, Peggy, how are you? Thank you for joining. Well, now you can make you some wagon wheels. <laughs> Just get you some noodles and some duct tape and some round circles and some dowels. And that's all you need. Isn't that cute? And it's just going to prop up. I mean, it's just something for some, you know, some farmhouse uh, decoration. So y'all hit the Dollar Tree and get you some um, some noodles, some fun noodles, um, and some dowels, and some little, I found these discs, the 10 inch disc at um, Hobby Lobby. And I think these smaller ones either came from Walmart or um, they might have come from the Dollar Tree. You know, they get the little wood, um, little pipes of little wood scraps. So, but yeah, I thought they were cute and I'm gonna use them in my decor. Would be cute a garden with flowers. Yes, ma'am. With flowers sitting in front of them or, but um, I'm getting some stuff together and I'm gonna redo my front porch. So I'll, um, I'll do that live one day or record a video doing it or or something now I'm adding um, hot glue all over these little dowels and down this wood um, disc so that it'll stay because I don't want it coming loose very easily So it'll take a few minutes for that all to dry because I coat it on there. And y'all, sometimes my glue gun just acts up and don't want to shoot out the glue. I dropped it yesterday. I was like, well, it's a good one because it's still working. Okay, now I'm going to let that dry, and then I'll paint it. And I just used some um, espresso. The color is espresso. I'll get you the can. It comes from Walmart. It's two times um, Rust-Oleum, two times Ultra Cover Paint and Primer. It's satin, and it's espresso. I love this color because it's it's about the truest brown you can get so there's our wagon wheel and this is the bigger one because i didn't cut anything off of these um so that's all i got for tonight y'all i will see y'all tuesday night um at 7 p.m central standard time so, I hope y'all have a wonderful and a blessed weekend. Um, do something fun, get creative, make some crafts, and go post some pictures over there on Rachel's Unique Crafts uh, VIP group. 
so I can see what y'all are making. <laughs> and I'm having a duck down, but I wanted it to be where y'all could see this. Um, so I got y'all far away. I'll have to go back and read all my comments and I'll reply to y'all. Thank y'all for coming and joining me. And I love you all. And y'all get crafty and make something unique and pretty and share your pictures with me. Have a great weekend, everyone. Thanks, uh, Miss Delane. I appreciate you being here. And I will see y'all Tuesday night. Thank y'all. I gotta come around here.